Continuing on the custom car review streak, we're going to be talking about a Saiyan Saga LR Goku, and it's coming in from Amiibo. But before I go ahead and read Amiibo's card, send me custom cards over to bhwcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. There is no message inside the email, so let's go ahead and just go straight into it. Guys, excuse my monotone voice. I am very tired. Today was a long day, and as you know, your boy wakes up very early in the morning, so there's that. So, AGL LR Saiyan Saga Goku that goes into a Kaioken Goku Earth's Out of World Protector. His leader skill is Earth Red Fighters 4 key and 200% the stats, or Saiyan Saga 3 key and 200% the stats. So, of course, he is a, a dual 200% leader skill. Let's just take a quick peek at what is on his 200%. So, um, stacked. Yes, very stacked category. It's mostly because of Earth Red Fighters. Yes, that's just pretty much the, uh, the gist of that. All right, so uh, the passive for LR Saiyan Saga Goku. Okay, so he activates intro animation upon the character's entry turn, once only, of course. And he gets 100% attack and defense. He uh, guarantee hits, as well as has a unrestricted 60% chance to crit. And he gets 5 key, 200% attack and defense, and a baseline 50% damage reduction. And he gets uh, an additional... 10% chance to crit as well as a additional 40% chance to dodge and he performs two guaranteed super attacks when facing a extreme class uh, enemy or a pure sans category enemy and he gives super class allies four key and 30% attack and defense very nice and he gives goku's family or Earthbred, not Earthbred, that's his earthling excuse me i read this Earthbred fighters there's gonna be a couple of mess ups this video guys don't mind me i'm just I am just out of it today. Um, Earthling category allies, 4 key and 60% attack and defense. So if you are a super class Goku's family or Earthling character, you are getting up to 8 key and what's that? That's 8 key and 90% attack and defense. That's very strong support. And 20% damage reduction when there is a Goku's family or Earth. No, I keep reading that's Earth Red Fighter, bro. Earthling. Oh my God. Because <laughs> I see Earth and I think it's Earth Red Fighters. Or Earthling category allies attacking in the same turn. Okay. And that is it. That's it for the um, the base part of the card. Okay, so this card can get up to 70% damage reduction. A 60% chance to crit. A 40% chance to dodge. Give up to 8 key and 90% attack and defense. Granted, you are the specific category ally to get those buffs. Slash the uh, super class ally. Um, you can do up to 2 guarantee supers. Um... Uh, up to what's that? It's up to 300% attack and defense guarantee to hit, as well as, of course, this card's going to be getting its own support buffs because, of course, it doesn't say self excluded. Um, that's an additional what's that? It's additional eight key and 90% attack and defense. So, high stats. Um, actually, that's not up to a 60% chance to crit, it's up to a 70% chance to crit. Excuse me, because I forgot the additional uh crit chance, the unrestricted additional crit chance, as well as the just baseline dodge. So, dodge damage reduction just built into the card no guard but this card does not need guard okay so the 12 key that being meteor combination he greatly stacks attack and defense and lowers attack so of course good super attack combinations and his 18 key that being meteor blast blow uh massively stacks attack and greatly stacks defense and greatly lowers attack and defense so of course powerful super attack effects obviously uh this card doing two guarantee supers grants you're facing the specific enemy is going to be very helpful to this card's stacking right makes a whole lot of sense and the link set for this card is on the family kamehameha the same lineage prepare for battle same warrior race fierce battle legendary power no z fighters interesting yeah i feel like this this card can definitely get z fighters as a link we could take same warrior race i am a big just hater of same warrior race as a link i'm just not a fan yeah just throw z fighters in there that's just personal bias, though. But, I mean, I would absolutely say that a card like this deserves uh, Z Fighters because, of course, it's Saiyan Saga Goku, right? So, it just makes a whole lot of sense. So, active skill uh, Kaioken can be activated when HP is 70% or less. Or, after performing four guaranteed crits, causes ultimate damage, stuns the enemy for one turn, and transforms. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So, okay, one thing I do want to know that I think it's cool that uh, if you do uh, four guaranteed crits, you can go straight into Kaioken, and this card has up to a 70% chance of crit. I do like that for active skill requirement. That's pretty dope, right? Okay, so what do we have here? All right, so uh, the post-transformation pass. Okay, I do like the name of that. All right, so uh, let's see what we got here. Five key, 500% attack and defense and guard. 70% damage reduction, unrestricted. 
card does 70% damage. You guys already know this card is going to be speaking for itself. Uh, it's like, you guys know the saying, uh, money talks. Um, this is literally, the, that's literally the saying for this card. This card is talking. Performs guarantee crits and 150% attack and defense performing a super attack. And uh, performs four additional attacks at each of which have a 95% chance to become a super attack. Those might as well just be guaranteed super because there's no way you're going to get unlucky and have that 5% chance of it not being a super attack. Just proc. So this card can do base up to four plus supers right there. And performs two guaranteed super attacks against a extreme class or pure Saiyans category enemy. So of course that's from their, the pre-transformation. Uh, and super class allies get four key and 77% attack and defense strong. And if uh, you are a Goku's family or earthling category ally, you get an additional five key, 90% attack and defense and a 20% chance to dodge. Oh my goodness. 190% attack when performing an 18 key super. All attacks target to this character on HP is 30% or less, but you will never be below that HP threshold with this card on the team. And 200% attack when gaining 8 or more key spheres, and 100% attack when using active skill. Okay, so this card has loads of attack, right? Because you have 190% attack when performing 18 key super. You get 200% attack when, do, when you get your 8 key spheres. And you get additional 100% attack when you, you get your active skill off. As well as this card getting its attack from its super class allies buff, as well as its Goku's family buff, of that being a total of what's that? Um, that's a total of, uh, including the key, that's 9 key, and uh, off the top of my head, okay, so 107% attack and defense, I think that's 167% attack and defense combined, that is crazy, 9 key and 167% attack and defense, that's bonkers, that's just bananas, guys, um, as well as 5 hundred percent attack and defense at the start of the turn and 150 percent attack and defense performing super attack so there are stats all over the place guard 70 percent damage reduction guarantee crits up to six plus supers ridiculously strong support um that being up to nine key and 167 percent attack and defense that's just mind-boggling um to uh to compare that uh that's this card is giving more support than its own attack and defensive buff when performing a super attack and do keep in mind this card gets 150% attack and defense performing a super attack, and his support gives up to 167%. <laughs> when your support is giving more than your attack and defense above from performing a super attack, you know the card is crazy. Alright, and the active skill, that being Collective Spirit Bomb, can activate when uh, after performing 8 super attacks or facing 8, just facing 1 enemy. Okay, so very easy to get off. Causes super ultimate damage. Stuns the enemy for three turns, guaranteed. And the super attack, that being the Kaioken Super Dash, greatly stacks attack and defense, uh, does mega colossal damage on the 12 key, and nasty lowers attack and defense. And the 18 key super, that being four times ultra Kamehameha, colossally stacks attack and defense, does mega colossal damage to enemy, and massively lowers attack and defense. Is this card doing mega colossal damage inside its pre transformation? It's not, it's just doing colossal damage for its 12 key. And then Meg Colossal on his 18 key makes sense. But then, like, this card can get Meg Colossal damage on its damn uh, 12 key and its post transformation. Just craziness. And then that's going to be about it. Uh, Link set is going to stay the same. I would say the only thing I would pick at this card for is this card not having Z Fighters. Because, of course, it's a Saiyan Saga Goku and it only makes sense, right? Because I'm pretty certain that version Z Goku has Z Fighters. No? I think that that's, like, the best comparison to this card when it comes to Link's. Um, categories, Saiyan Saga, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Full Power, Power of Wishes, Final Trump Card, Bond of Parent and Child, Bond of Friendship, Turtle School, Earth Bread Fighters, All Out Struggle, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, and Connected Hope. One thing before we close out the video, um, go ahead and send me custom cards over to BHF Custom Cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Um, let's just take a quick peek at version Z Goku. Where is he? Um, there he is. I'm very certain you have Z Fighters. You do. Yes. So this guy needs Z Fighters. That's it. Card's ridiculously strong. Um, that's a standard by our guy Amiibo. <laughs> I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Uh, join the 24-7 Discord server. A link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. Leave a like and subscribe. And that is all. Peace.